Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of HVAC system design tutorial with the channel of the World of Building Design. My name is Babak, I'm your host. In this tutorial, I would like to discuss with you uh, the tool that is from the Xylem uh, manufacturing company. Uh, the Xylem is um, well known for manufacturing of uh, heat exchangers and uh, hydronic HVAC system equipment. And in this tutorial, I would like to uh, talk a little bit about uh, this tool and how you can download this tool that is very helpful in your calculation for the hydronic uh, system when you design HVAC systems and you want to uh, size your uh, piping for hydronic, um, you, you're designing a boiler system or uh, hydronic chilled water and hot water cooling and cooling and heating. Uh, this is going to be very helpful for you to use and uh, this is the electronic version of this online tool. Uh, there is also the calculation wheel that you can also get from the manufacturer directly or buy from um, online sources. Um, but uh, this is going to be online uh, software that you can download for free and uh, have it on your computer to during your design it becomes very handy so what you need to do you can go to the xylem.com uh, site as you can see on the top uh, you can be in either in the canadian site or in the u.s site um, of this manufacturer i put this uh, link on the description below if you need to go and download it you can easily go there and download please just check the description below where you can download uh, and get into this web page. Once you are in the page, you can come down in uh, the area where there's you know this application that is shown here. It says download system sizer for window. And then there's also other training video if you would like to, to see. There's more complimentary videos that you can use in addition to this tutorial that we are talking about. So once you download this software, you have to download it and you save it uh, somewhere on your desktop when you open the software it will look like something like this at the very beginning when you're on this tool you have to look at the top of the uh, menu in here there are temperature and load calculation you have a cv or constant coefficient if you remember we had the constant coefficient of the valve uh, which was a relationship between the uh, pressure drop across a valve and also in a system as a whole, and also the uh, the flow rate in that system. So you could calculate the CV, and it, it can be done automatically to this uh, um, you know very useful tool. Then we have a flow and pressure drop calculation easily can be done. Then you have a length and pressure drop. If you have um, a length of a pipe, you can easily calculate it in here. We have a net suction pressure head for the pumping you can calculate from this tool and then also we have a circuit setter uh, that you can use so to introduce you this tool a little bit on the right hand side there is a toolbar where you can uh, determine your languages you can get into uh, English or Spanish language and also for the unit of measurement you can either use English or metric uh, unit of measurement and interestingly is that when you're using this tool you can even use this tool for different type of uh, medium hydronic medium you don't need to have everything based on a water hydronic you can either also use uh, propylene glycol or ethylene glycol and others whenever you choose any of this uh, you have to also show the fluid concentration so you want to show what is the concentration of the chemical mixed with the water? Is it 50%? It can go all the way to 100%. So in this, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'll just keep everything as simple as water. And as you can see, when I change this from water to a different uh, medium, um, the other uh, parameters and other uh, characteristic of the fluid changes in terms of viscosity, a specific gravity and a specific heat of the medium is changing and that's what uh, determining on how you have to transfer the heat or absorb the heat 
um, you know, uh, from the surrounding. When you have, uh, say, uh, propylene glycol chilled water, uh, there is a different char characteristic of absorption of heat and rejection of the heat. Um, and these are all can be calculated based on the design you're taking into account. So going back to the left hand side, when you look at the temperature load, you can easily provide a range of temperature. For example, if you have a chilled water ranging from 45 degree to 55 degree and a flow rate of 2.4, you can change this to a different number, but I'm going to keep it as 2.4 GPM. You would see that heat absorption can be close to 12 thousand BTU per hour or 12 MBH. So basically this is equivalent to one ton of cooling as you can see on the top right hand side. This is corresponding to one ton of cooling based on this delta T and based on this flow rate as 2.4. So you can easily calculate uh, based on what specific GPM uh, you can uh, you know you can get a specific heat um, absorption. Say if you have a space that has a thermal load of uh, say 100, 100 MBH and you want to offset that and you want to cool that, that space, you want to, to know how much GPM of chilled water, pure, pure chilled water you need uh, to provide the cooling for, for that space. I, I just simply put 100 100 MBH here and then my flow rate changes to 33.16 so you basically need 33 approximately 33 GPM of the chilled water with a delta T of 10 degree between 45 to 55 to offset 100,000 BTU per hour or 100 MBH to cool down that space so so this is a very helpful tool and on the right hand side, you can also get the volume of the hydronic that we have on different units in terms of cubic feet per minute or cubic meter per minute, cubic meter per hour, liter per second, etc. On the second tab, as I said, the CV can be calculated here based on different GPM and different CV. You can get the total head and vice versa. And this is basically very very helpful tool where you can build your system curve and uh, when you're selecting a pump you can cross a reference between the system curve and the pump to understand what's your duty point and what is your uh, capability of the pump would it be would it be uh, you know a good choice to handle uh, your system for for the hydronic you need to distribute into your system as a whole and that's very handy for you to be able to build the system curve because you can plot multiple CVs um, between the pressure and between the pressure drop in form of head and the GPM so you can build the system curve with this tab of CV. As it relates to the flow and pressure drop you can easily uh, select the piping as you can see there is a different type of piping material you have option between the steel copper and the pvc or plastic uh, form of or composite type of pipe and and as you know if you change any of this the friction characteristic of the uh, interior of the pipe changes and that will impact the pressure drop across your pipe so uh, you can select different pipe size and different flow rate and then you get what is your velocity across the pipe uh, and also what is the frictional loss that you will experience. For example, if we selected 33 in the previous tab as a GPM to offset 100 MBH and if I come to the, this new flow pressure drop tab uh, that's automatically imported in here. You can change it anytime you want, but basically all the information provided in the previous tabs are transferred to the secondary tabs from left to right. If we imagine that we have 33 GPM, if you select a pipe size of one inch, 
the velocity across your uh, cross section of your pipe becomes 12.31 feet per second. This is a uh, quite high uh, velocity for your fluid. And to, to reduce this, simply you need to select a higher uh, size pipe or a larger diameter pipe. I just get to 2 inch to see what happens. And as you can see, our velocity goes down to 3.17. I'm just going to go to 1.5 for this application. And you see that we are in a very good uh, pipe size. Uh, at one and a half inch because our velocity shows at 5.22 feet per second. And then our friction loss becomes 33 feet uh, per 100 feet. This is quite high um, head. Um, so it's up to us on how to increase the capacity or the size of the pipe to look at the smaller number of the pressure drop. In this case now, when I change to two, um, two, two inch diameter pipe, our friction loss goes down to 12.16 feet per 100 feet. There are other options in here. So you can see the GPMs, all the volume is seen, the Reynolds number, um, the relative roughness of the pipe, interior pipe based on the material of the pipe, friction factor, flow type. What is the flow type? Laminar flow. As you can see, it's very interesting to see all this. Going with the same parameters to the next tab, if I'm changing this back to say one and a half inch, if I go back to my uh, second tab, which is length pressure drop, and I input, if my pipe in a, my entire building is say 800 feet as a whole, with the 33 feet um, per 100 feet of uh, friction loss, I'm looking at a total head of 264. This is a number that we get. And when we um, add the effect of our other features, such as the feeding to this, we can come up with our total pressure drop where it helps you to select and size your pumping that needs to distribute the hydronic into the system. So we'll need to, there are other tabs that I would like to discuss in the other tutorial. So I will provide you with the link. So get ready to review this very, very useful tool. I would like you to go to this site, uh, review a little bit, download this software, and then we'll discuss this same uh, design tool in the next tutorial in more detail. As I said, there are uh, physical tool available for purchase, but this is an online version doing exactly the same type of calculation and same information. And in fact, this is a lot faster to use, but it's all uh, depends on uh, your choice. If you like to uh, use the physical device, some people like to use the physical, physically do the measurement and verify. And some people like the online application to use. It's your choice and uh, we can continue on this same tutorial in the future and uh, we can get into more detailed application of this tool. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're a newcomer to this uh, channel. Uh, I recommend you to go back and check many other exciting uh, HVAC uh, training videos that are in this channel. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.